Welcome to a new video. If you've tried to add captions manually to Final Cut Pro, then this is the video for you. I'm going to be talking about a third party plugin called Captionator, which uses AI to automatically put your captions into your videos. All right, so we've got Final Cut Pro up and a test project. So let's dive right in. Got a dodgy looking guy here who's trying to do a short video on Captionator. Funny enough, Here's the video for it. Let's play a little bit of this dialogue. Quick test to show how Captionator works well with any... All right, you get the gist. What I want to do is get Captionator to auto-generate these captions. Um, first off, Captionator is not free. It's £17.99 on the App Store. So you have to download it from the iOS App Store. And then it's a couple of clicks to get it installed. Now, what it does is it creates a new export menu from here. So as you know, you can generate different ways to export your videos. And what Captionator does is manually installs itself here as another export destination. Super easy. So once you've got your video that you want to generate the captions for, two things you need to do. Head over to the index. If this isn't highlighted, click index here. And you want to make sure that you just select the dialogue that you want the captions to be generated from. There's no use having multiple voices. It doesn't work very well with that or if there's overlapping. So if you can get a single voice uh, dialogue within your video, it's easier. I am going to try and mess around with it to see if I can confuse it by using other voices. But for now, let's just use this single voice, single dialogue track. Once you've got that, you select this and do a quick export. Click on Captionator and then it's just going to go through a couple of menus. So click on Next. It's basically going to just sit in the background and then read the file and then do some processing. So now it's going to ask me, uh, what do I want the caption style to look like? I'm just going to leave it as this. Just leave it as default. You can go to advanced and look at the different parameters, but I'm just going to basically have it as one style and then hit generate. It's then going to say, where do you want the XML file to be stored? I'm just going to put it in my movies folder. And then it's going to say, which library do you want to associate the auto-generated captions with? I've only got one that I'm using right now, which is Captionator, which is this one up here. So you select the library and click Choose. Once that's done, you'll see here that it's generated a new project called Generated Captions. So if you double click on that, you'll see that these captions are generated already for you. So what I do is I will just select all of the generated captions, click copy, and then go back to my library and the video that I'm interested in, which is this one, and click paste. Make sure you're right at the beginning of your file before you do that. And now you Here's can see a quick test to show how Captionator works that well these are already generated. Voice. Now you can manipulate and change the text if you don't like it. The best way I find to do that is just for, before you do, just go through and make sure that it is got every word right. Now, as you can see here, um, let's just make these a bit smaller first. Let's just change this font size a little bit just for now. <clears throat> you can see how calculator, I actually say how captionator, so it didn't get its own voice uh, or it didn't get its own spelling right there. Maybe it's the dodgy accent. So you just double click on it and just change it. So it's uh, caption a tour like that. In fact, I don't need capitals. Um, so what I do is I just go through an eyeball. Um, AI, I think that should be capitals, just in case it's not. Auto generate captions. Okay. So I'm not a particular fan of this uh, style of text. So what you can do is uh, select them all, right click and create a new compound clip because anything that you then do to that compound clip will be uh, basically pushed down to all the separate little caption files. So let's just do text. Right, so now I'm going to change um, the style of this. So real quick, if I just go into here, select them all. I'm going to change the font to something that I like. I always use bangers. 
and then you can also change the color if you want on here by changing I'm going to remove the outline I'm going to change the face click on that you can actually change the color if you want I'm going to keep it to um, snow come on there you go and then let's just have a look at I don't want the text there. So because it's a compound clip, you can just move it around. I put it in the center. Let's do done. Now let's just play it through quickly. Here's a quick test to show how captionate. Let's actually size this up a little bit. Because it's a compound it clip, works it well everything. with any voice using AI, a great way to auto generate captions. Done. Bingo, super easy. So as you can see, it's quite customizable. You can do many things with it. You can change the color of your text, size of the text. Um, you can even move the text around a little bit if it didn't um, generate the text at the right moment when you speak. It's been pretty good on my testing, even with my dodgy Northern accent. So yeah, pretty good indeed. Um, it isn't free, as I said, it is chargeable, but I think it's well worth the $17.99 for it because it's going to take all that manual effort out of generating captions for your videos. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. It's quite fun making this stuff. Hit the subscribe button if you want to know more about Final Cut Pro and tutorials and plugins and videos and all that kind of stuff. You guys know what to do. See you in the next video.